YouTube, this is Puck, how are you doing? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable USB stick that will boot on these Windows 8.1 tablets. As you all know, these tablets have a UEFI bias that make it kinda impossible for us to boot our Linux distros 64-bit that should run just fine on UEFI devices, but they kinda don't boot. So how to, you know, create a bootable USB stick so the thing kinda boots. You might think that there's a whole abacadabra behind this all, but in fact, it's just a little trick and a little add that you will have to do after you created your bootable USB stick. The best software to create bootable USB sticks is UNet Bootin. If you're on Windows, right mouse click Start as Administrator. If you're on a Mac, put in your password and boot up the software. Here at the side, you can simply go ahead and browse for your distro. I would go for Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 16 Mate or 15 Mate, at least 64-bit versions. Make sure that uh, it's suitable for UEFI. You will read that if you kind of read there on the side what's crack lacking. But I can tell you that uh, Mate 16 runs really good, it runs fine, okay? Not all hardware is supported, but then again, we also did not get to install it uh, properly yet on the device because the grub was not working and we could not boot the device again into the Ubuntu that we installed. Also, we bricked the device by uh, removing all the partitions and uh, in fact, the device is now kind of bricked. So um, the only thing that it can do at this moment is boot up Linux. Uh, in this way by this uh, way of creating um, the USB stick okay um, in here I'm just gonna format the drive real fast cause um, I forgot to format the drive I'm doing this in uh, disk utility but you can do it if you're in Windows right mouse click and then format make sure that you format it as a FAT32 partitioned uh, stick okay so when this is done, I'm going to create the stick the normal way, the way that you already created a dozen of these sticks if you're also a Linux tester. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to let you look at this process again. Uh, so we're just going to let this go here on the background and then I'm going to get back live and direct to you and show you what you should do to get this thing bootable. Because I'm also going to show you, uh, just for the record, that after creating this stick, yeah, it won't boot on the tablet and we will get a little message telling us that there is no bootable device. All right. So that is just for the record, I'm gonna show that to you so you kinda understand if you also get this uh, message, what is happening and what you can do to fix that, okay? So this is not for only the know-it-alls, this is also for the people that don't know anything at all about these kind of tablets how to fix them and they just wanted to play on a sunday afternoon and then they fix they break the device and they you know because in my next video we also gonna fix this device and you know install windows on it again make it kind of original and then set linux beside it so we have both operating systems getting us even more uh, out of this tablet okay so when this is done i'm gonna get back uh, live and direct to you so you can see the result and what we should kind of do to get this thing booting on these windows 8.1 tablets okay welcome to the studio uh, as you can see uh, we're creating the bootable uh, usb stick of kda at this moment it's 1621 megabytes so it's uh, copying and you know we're creating a bootable usb stick that should uh, boot up with these kinds of tablets okay this is a acer w8.1 i think it's called it's the acer iconia and this thing comes with uh, with windows windows 8.1 with bing and in fact yeah it's a very nice tablet but uh, it's also very nice to you know see something else running on it so uh, we are gonna uh, kinda uh, get Linux on this device and 
that's why we're creating a bootable USB stick. But uh, as I already said in the video, this bootable USB stick will not yet boot uh, from uh, the tablet, or how, how can I say it? Uh, this this USB stick will not boot on the tablet yet because um, of some extra that we will have to do. And that little extra, I'm gonna show it to you. And if you're kind of getting scared now, don't be, don't get scared because that little extra is really a little extra that we have to do. And I think everyone can do it. Grandma can do it. You know, grandpa can do it. But also your little brother of, 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 of seven years old can do it. You know, all my little developers there, my young friends developing. Uh, uh, Linux and and doing all these codings I'm very proud of you all there very very well done but this is a little update that you guys must uh, insert in your Linux distros so um, yeah guys like us with Windows uh, 8.1 tablets can also give it a try and you know play around with Linux on these devices uh, most of the times touchscreen works just fine so um, yeah but we must first get this thing to boot and uh, until this is done uh, I'm gonna get back to you okay we're almost there I really want to show you that this is not some trick that I'm gonna show you that this is 100% genuine information and I couldn't find any uh, video on YouTube showing this so you know I'm showing it so know where you get this information and remember it when you see it somewhere else where they found this information okay so here you can see uh, I have the USB stick I'm gonna take it out you see that and I'm gonna stick it in the hub that would be this little hub here Okay, there it is. You see that? I'm gonna take the tablet and we're gonna boot it on. There's uh, lots of reflection there. You can see Acer booting up. And as you can see, it's saying no bootable device. You see that? So we're gonna press the power until it goes off. Until you see all the lights also of on the USB sticks, they turn off. Just hold the power down, keep pressing it, don't worry, it will go off. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the computer. We're gonna remove the stick again, and we're gonna stick it back into the Mac. And we're gonna go back to the screen. Okay, so now um, what you need to do is to go to the drive the one that you just inserted mint kda you see it here it's maybe okay this this might look a little bit better okay uh the first third the fourth folder is called evi open it in there you will find another folder called boot open it up here you can see boot x 64evi and grub x 64evi okay what we're gonna do you're gonna take this little file link will be in the description it's called bootia 32.efi just copy it to here okay that's all you need to do this was the little trick that you needed okay so now you can remove the stick you know go back to your tablet here pop it in Okay, take the tablet. Of course, you already set the tablet to boot from USB. If not, you must hit the F12 key on your keyboard, on the external keyboard that you connected. Just wait a second. Remember, we had no bootable device. And here, now you can see, it's saying, Start Linux Mint 17.3 KDA 64 bit. So we just oh, we're just gonna hit the enter there, and there it goes. By the way, it's beautiful weather here in the Netherlands, peeps. 
it's 26 degrees outside Celsius, eh? not Fahrenheit, Celsius. So it's warm and nice and beautiful. So I'm kind of sitting here chilling and I was like, let me show you people how to, you know, how to do it, how to get Linux on these devices. And you can see KDA is booting up there. Beautiful little logo of KDA. Let me tap it for you so you can see that it's blue. Well, you can't really see it. Reflection is a little bit. So there you can see the mouse. Mouse is working. We have touch screen. You see that? Dang. And we are almost booted up in Linux 17.3 KDA. I'm gonna play around a little bit with this device. I'm gonna let you know in my next video if this all uh, was worth it uh, to do because uh, I find uh, Ubuntu also very nice on this device. So, you know, really want to get this all installed. But uh, that all you will see and hear in my next video. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope that this helped out. If this video helped you out to create uh, a bootable USB uh, stick for your uh, windows 8.1 tablet please give this video a like don't leave without leaving it a like and of course subscribe to my channel if you did not already and love to see you in my next video again